Lovely. That's the only thing I've completely finished. Bon appétit. Good morning. So I'm about to go to one of the restaurants here in Hotel New York to have breakfast. So if you have breakfast included in your stay, they give you one of these cards. This one, for instance, is for today, Tuesday, and they give you a little time slot as well, 8 o'clock in the morning. Now, before the pandemic, they will still give you these cards, obviously not with this hotel, but just with all the Disneyland hotels. And you could kind of choose what time you wanted. It didn't really matter if it didn't come on time, that kind of thing. But because of the pandemic right now, it's really important that you make uh, a tea or breakfast, you know, when the time is on your card, because they've allocated the times on purpose, so that not everyone goes at the same time. Because they want to make sure that, you know, the capacity of the restaurants is okay, there's enough social distancing and thing, that kind of thing. So yeah, it's 8 o'clock right now, about to go to the Manhattan restaurant and you can choose which one to go to. There's downtown as well, I might try the other one tomorrow morning, but it's going to be the same food, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd show you breakfast time at Hotel New York as well. Bonjour. Bonjour. Merci. Merci à vous. Oui. Ah d'accord. Bonjour, merci. Euh, bonjour, <rire> merci. Merci beaucoup. Oh, so nice. So I'm sat at my table now, as with almost every buffet service at Disneyland Paris, because of the pandemic at the moment, they are no longer a self-served buffet. So uh, the lovely cast member just now told me that um, her colleague will come and explain it to me, but I think it's going to be a case of me choosing something from a little menu uh, that is, would have normally been on the buffet, and then they'll bring it to me which is actually a good thing because normally I tend to overeat at breakfast buffets and I don't want to do that today. Also, I'm really enjoying the tables and the little paper plate mats with uh, Spider-Man on them, the napkins with Hotel New York, these little uh, mugs as well, they're very cute. And of course, they do have hand sanitizer on every single table as you might be <laughs> expecting. So a lovely cast member just came and gave me a little code to scan so I could go and see the menu on the website. Um, as always, they do also give you an option to have an actual physical menu if you can't get it to work on your phone. So don't worry, you know, if your phone's not working or something, don't stress. They can always give you physical menus too. But they're trying to they're trying to promote, um, you know, non-physical at the moment, obviously. But you can see the breakfast has quite a lot of choices. You know, you've got an American platter, scrambled eggs, bacon, English platter. So if you want a full English, you can get that here at Hotel New York. Mini waffles, Captain Marvel and maple syrup, that's fun, that sounds really fun. I do generally prefer um, something that's not sweet for my breakfast, so I'm not sure if I want to go for pancakes necessarily, but, um, or waffles. But maybe I'll try that tomorrow. I think I might go for one of these two. So they've just brought me this little plate of <laughs> stuff, you know, we've got croissants, pain chocolat, just some regular plain bread as well over here and uh, the cast member reminded me as she came and brought these over that um, even though it's no longer a buffet it's still very much all you can eat so she said if you want any more of any of the food options just let them know and they'll bring more to you. This is going to be my first Disneyland Paris croissant in about a year so bon appétit! They're still as good as ever. So I decided to go for the American breakfast, which has some bacon here, some scrambled egg, uh, some pieces of toast as well. This is a veal sausage, so it's not pork, uh, which I actually prefer. And then we've got some potatoes here, and I've got my apple juice, of course, and my <laughs> cafe au lait, which is a, a latte here, which is very, very nice. I've already had my uh, croissant. And they also do give you some like jams and Nutella and whatnot as well. But um, this looks incredible. A lot of food actually for me because I don't tend to eat this early in the morning. But I'm treating myself today. So I don't even know where to start. There's so many things on my plate. But I think I'm going to start with a little bit of the sausage and the scrambled egg. So this is oh, there's a bit of bacon attached to it. I don't I don't want the bacon for now anyway. There's the sausage. That's what it looks like on the inside. I'm gonna take a little bit of scrambled eggs as well, make it into a little nice little bite-sized piece. There you go. And try this. It's nice. Now I'm gonna go with a bit of potato and bacon, because I think that's a pretty good, decent combination as well. Mm. This is 
is also nice. I do prefer the first combination though because the sausage is really tasty. The veal sausage and the scrambled eggs, really nice, really creamy. And of course I've got my bread as well but this is just regular white bread so I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast now and I'll speak to you afterwards. So my breakfast was really really nice. I enjoyed basically everything to be honest. The scrambled eggs was really lovely. I ate the whole thing. Bacon was nice and crispy as well. I don't normally like bacon but this bacon was great. You would have seen I, I emptied my plate. Um, and yeah, the sausage was really, really nice as well, and the bread, and the potatoes were... The potatoes were probably actually my least favourite thing, because they were just very generic. But overall, a very, very nice breakfast. I'm pretty full now. But also I wanted to show you some of the other breakfast options that are available here, thanks to a lovely group next to me who are Belgian. There you go. There they are. Thank you so much. I've had lovely conversations with them as well as I've been sat here. Lovely people. And um, yeah, thanks to them, you can see some of the other breakfast food as well because they, because there's two of them, they've ordered some other options that I didn't eat. So I'll just show them to you now. Are these the Captain American like um, the the waffles? Yeah. 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 Oh, they look really cool. And then I think that's the English breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Next time you tell us where you're going. I have just left the Manhattan restaurant here in Hotel New York for my breakfast. My breakfast lot was for 8 o'clock. It's currently about 9.20, so I was in there for about an hour and 20 minutes. I probably stayed there a bit longer than I would have normally because I ended up chatting to the group next to me. Such lovely people. I love coming to Disneyland because of this, especially if you come as a solo traveler. It's always nice to talk to other people. They were the ones who actually started the conversation with me because I was vlogging. They asked me about the channel and then we ended up having a nice conversation. I learned a lot about Belgium as well. Um, and yeah, thanks to them, you got to see some of the other food options as well. I might actually try the waffles, the Captain Marvel uh, waffles that they had. So you would have seen a little shot of it. I might try them tomorrow morning uh, for my breakfast. So yeah, all in all though, I, was, I really enjoyed breakfast. It was really nice. I liked this, like, the actual place as well, the location of the, of the restaurant with the chandelier and everything. You would have been seeing a little shot of it now. Looks really nice, very relaxing. The service was great. You know, if you wanted anything more, they would bring them to you. I had two apple juices, for instance, instead of the one because I enjoy apple juice. But yeah, I didn't manage to eat uh, too, too much of the actual pastries, unfortunately. I just had one croissant and that was it. But um, they did have a lot there. And I think if you do want to take them with you, you can. I didn't, I just left them there. But that's actually a tip. So if you want to take some of those uh, pastries with you, maybe to the parks later to have as a snack, you definitely can do that. So yeah. That was my breakfast at Manhattan restaurant. I'm pretty sure the food options are going to be the same tomorrow as well. But I'll take you along the journey anyway because I'm probably going to try something different even though I really did enjoy the American breakfast. So yeah, I'll speak to you in a bit. Good morning. It's the next day. I'm about to go down to breakfast again. It's really early in the morning so apologies if I don't look my best. I'm gonna maybe eat at a downtown restaurant today. The food is gonna be the exact same. So it doesn't matter whichever location you go to, but I think you do have the choice. Um, they give you these cards. So this one, as you can see, says Mercredi or Wednesday on them. This is for today. Uh, they give you the time allocation as well. Now, I have checked and before COVID time, Firstly, you had a choice to kind of let them know kind of roughly what time you wanted your breakfast at and if, you know, they had space for it, they would give it to you. Um, also, it wasn't as important that you, like, got there at that time. Um, you know, it was recommended, but it wasn't the, the end of the world if you got there a bit later or you went at a different time. Because of COVID, um, I didn't have a choice. They just gave me these cards. I think they just allocated times for different people. It makes sense because they have to spread them out. Um, to make sure that there's not a lot of people at one go because of the pandemic. So that's why I've got an 8 o'clock slot. I'm really tired. I should still, still be asleep. But also, at the same time, I am looking forward to some, some waffles, maybe. Some Captain Marvel waffles that we saw yesterday. So let's go down. So as you can see, this is where the restaurants are. Both restaurants. But we went to Manhattan yesterday. So we're going to see if we can go to downtown. Bonjour. La petite déjeuner. Merci. Oui. Merci. Thank you very much. Lovely. Ici. Merci. Oui. C'est parfait. So I've arrived uh, at my table. Uh, the lovely cast member just explained to me that um, I can basically order as much as I want. So because normally this would be a buffet, I'll try and show you the buffet area later on as well if I can. Um, yeah. So. She said just make, you know, just let the cast member, the waiter know, the server know when they come to you, uh, her colleague. 
I'm not even that hungry, but I do want the pancakes. So I think I'm going to go for the pancakes. I scanned the menu again. Let's have a look at it together. From what I can see, it's just here. Um, it looks exactly like yesterday's. So yeah, it's the exact same, uh, exact same menu. They've got cold platters, mixed platters, cheese platters, cold cut platters with some hams and and uh, yeah, chicken, pistachio, bologna, smoked salmon bagel. Actually, I've had one of these before, not in this restaurant, but in this hotel, and they're really nice. Maybe I'll have one. And then the hot platters is the exact same again. You can see here. American breakfast, English breakfast, and then they've got some scrambled eggs, that sort of thing. I think that might be too heavy for me, um, but it did taste really nice yesterday, so obviously you would have already seen what that looked like. So I'm probably going to go with the mini waffles, Captain Marvel and maple syrup. Maybe pancakes too? No, that might be too much. I might go for that and then um, maybe a vanilla cake actually. There's an accompaniment vanilla cake. so. We'll see. Um, I'm probably not going to spend too long here either. Um, but yeah, the restaurant is lovely. The location of this restaurant, I think I actually like the theming of the re-theming of this uh, restaurant downtown more than I do with uh, Manhattan. Manhattan hasn't changed too much. They, um, they have installed a phenomenally expensive looking chandelier um, in the middle of it, but um, the rest of it is more or less the same as it used to be before. Whereas, um, I'll give you a little pan now. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, Marvel artwork everywhere in this restaurant now. The lights as well up there, they look really cool. They go really in theme with everything else. They actually look a lot like the sinks in their rooms. So watch a room tour if you want to see what I'm talking about. Oh, pardon. No? Whoever knew? Merci, d'accord, merci. Um, so yeah, I just got, I ordered myself a coffee, a latte. That's the first thing I asked for. Um, but yeah, that over there would be where the buffet will be. I'll see if I can give you a closer look later on. But I love, I love the vibe of this place. I love how it looks. I love all the artwork. There's some more artwork on the other side. And I'm a particularly a big fan of the, the lights. I think that's a really nice touch to make it all look quite modern looking and sleek as well so yeah this is my view for breakfast so honestly if you do have breakfast here at hotel new york you'll get a lot of food it's a big breakfast because before i even ordered my actual breakfast so from you know from the little menu i forgot they do obviously bring you some um, croissants power chocolate some bread rolls cinnamon rolls like butter nutella jam i might even try a bit of a nutella today uh, also let me know in the comments below if you prefer croissants or pain au chocolat I always prefer, I like both of them you know how can you not like both but if I were to choose I would always go for the croissant the standard croissant is definitely my favorite now potentially a fun fact for you the very last uh, meal or breakfast that I had in Hotel New York before it went under renovation back in 2017 was actually in this restaurant obviously it looked very different back then their main element uh, at the time was the big apple so you would see logos of an apple everywhere I actually really like the theming of Hotel New York even back then I was talking to somebody yesterday on my Instagram one of you guys actually follow me and um, they said that they they missed um, the previous theming because yes the Marvel thing looks amazing but it's important to remember that like yeah before this when it was just called Hotel New York with the you know only New York theming it still did look really nice and I can I can understand that especially if you were a huge fan of that particular theming you might miss it now because it looks very different the colors are different it's a very different vibe and I really liked uh, what it looked like before but I also really like it now so I think it was a good change for sure um, I'm gonna have a bit of my coffee now also I'm just genuinely enjoying looking at the artwork as I'm eating you know being a solo traveler right now eating on my own um, there's a lot to look at especially with the art I think this hotel, Hotel New York Art of Marvel, has probably one of the biggest collection of Marvel artwork in the world. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not even a huge Marvel fan and I'm still appreciating it, I really am. So, yeah, I think it's definitely a good shout to have uh, done the renovation and I think it's gone down really well from the past few days that I've been here. Everyone seems to really be happy with what it looks like and the service has been great. I've had cast members uh, come right, left and centre asking me what I think of the hotel, if I'm happy, if I'm happy with my stay, if they can help me with anything. It's been phenomenal. <sighs> okay, I've got two plates in front of me. 
the salmon bagel and the um, uh, waffles. The salmon bagel looks really nice, um, not too big, uh, in little tiny pieces with the salmon and some cream cheese on it. It looks really lovely, really, really nice and fresh. There is a little tomato in the middle as well, so that's nice. And then the uh, Marvel Captain America waffles. It's just two pieces of waffle with some um, maple syrup next to it. Um, they, they look really cool, you know, the waffles look nice with the logo and everything. So I think I'm going to try one of these uh, salmon pieces first. So there you go, here's a closer look. Now I'm going to have some of the waffles over here, so I'm going to pour a little bit of the lovely nice maple syrup on here, just like this, ooh, lovely, nice, <laughs> I'm just going to empty it, might as well. So here I've got a nice, very syrupy little piece of waffles. I mean, it's good. It's just like any waffle. It's like the standard Mickey waffles that you can get as well. It's nice though. I am now going to spend the next, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes trying to finish as much of all of this as I can. I was going to have a croissant, but before I even, you know, got to have it, um, they came with my, I guess, main breakfast. So I'm still going to have the croissant, and if I can't have it now, if I can't eat it, I'll take it upstairs with me to have later, because you're definitely allowed to do that. But yeah, this is my breakfast. Um, I'm going to be eating now. Hello. It's about 10 past 9 now, so I've been here about an hour. Um, I finished my coffee. That's the only thing I've completely finished. Actually, that's not true. I also finished the waffles. The Marvel Captain America waffles were nice. You know, it was nice to have something sweet. I think because last night I ate so much food. So if you haven't checked out my video from last night, if you want to see the other restaurants, like the you know evening food, the dinner, lunch menus here at the restaurants, I've made a whole separate video for that, so check that out. But in this restaurant, the downtown um, restaurant, they do have a buffet uh, meal basically for lunch and dinner, which is served to you by the waiters at the moment because the fact that we're in a pandemic and it's a lot of food. So yeah, I've eaten a lot, that's why I'm not really hungry today. Um, the salmon bagel, I only had one piece. It was really nice. I just know that I can't have it right now, otherwise it, it, it might not be the best thing. <laughs> and the croissants, I haven't even touched, but I'm going to take them up with me to eat later throughout the day. Maybe even take them with me on my uh, flight tomorrow night. So there you go. Loving the atmosphere though. The atmosphere is really, really nice. And one thing I just said on my Instagram as well, so if you, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you do because normally I tend to give information and talk about my trips and anything really on there before I, you know, talk on YouTube because it takes me a while to edit. But if you do have breakfast here at Hotel New York Art of Marble, um, it's going to be a lot of food, so enjoy yourselves. Like, you're not going to have to worry about a big lunch afterwards. I don't think it's going to make sense for you to have to have like a proper lunch later as well. You'll probably be full until about later in the evening, so you can probably just get a snack or something later on because there's a lot available. Because it's a buffet meal as well, you can get some more. And, you know, if it's a part of your package, you might as well make the most of your breakfast, you know. I believe you might be able to add it on as well. You can probably also, in the future, not at the moment because it's, uh, the hotel has just reopened, but um, I think in the future, maybe, even if you're not staying at this hotel, you might be able to come to this hotel for breakfast if you wish to, but you then have to pay. So that's that. Um, I'm going to finish my apple juice, I think, and then I'll speak to you later. So as you can see, I've just told my server that I'm finished with the food and they've taken my plate, like my waffle plate, my plate with the bagels that still had some on it. But they do leave the, the bread uh, little basket here for me. And that's because they know that a lot of people would want to take these with them to the parks or like I said back to their rooms for later. Before I leave breakfast I thought I would show you the little area where everything is prepared as well. So this would have normally been the buffet area but now they just have the place kind of ready here and the servers would bring them to you as you would have seen. So yeah, everything is here. Everything like the bread etc. Merci. Um, yeah, these are like the hot options that I would have... Oh there's beans as well. That would obviously be for the English breakfast. Bonjour! 
Um, and yeah, that's the restaurant. Again, big fan of the lights. I'll speak to you later. So, that was my meal uh, for breakfast at Hotel New York Art of Marvel. I tried quite a few different breakfasts. Yesterday I had a hot breakfast with the American version, the American breakfast, scrambled eggs, you know, sausage, bacon, etc. That was really nice. And if I was actually hungry today, I probably would have gone for the same thing because I really did enjoy that. And then today I tried the waffles. They also do pancakes. They do loads of things like cold platters as you would have seen. I think it's a great thing to have. Um, like definitely make the most of your breakfast if you're eating here. And the locations are great, you know, both Manhattan restaurant and downtown restaurant are really good as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found out something about what the breakfast is like. Uh, let me know if you do end up coming here anytime soon. Also, something I'm just very curious about. What's your favorite breakfast kind of food? Like, what do you prefer? Do you prefer sweet stuff? Like, you know, uh, pancakes, you know, maple syrup, that kind of thing. Or do you prefer more salty, like eggs, bacon, that kind of thing? Because I'm more of a salty person myself, generally speaking. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested to know what your preference is. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.